Hello! In this video, we look at how to read and generate PVM signal with Arduino. Generating a PVM signal with Arduino is very easy. In fact, I show you that in a previous video with the limit switches, where I use a server library. This is an easy to use solution, so in this video, we look at all commands supported by this library. Here is the code. To use a server library, we need to include it in the sketch. And that's the first line. At next line, we create an instance of a server library for server control or more generally generating a PVM signal. With following line, we set up a pin where would be our signal generated. We must choose a pin which supports this feature. As you can see, on the board, these pins are usually indicated by this wavy line. Then we can use one of the following functions to generate a PVM signal, where write function is more related to classic RC servo because input should be in range from 0 to 180 degrees and write microseconds generate a PVM signal with a length given in the input of the function. This is typically between 1000 to 2000 microseconds. Additional and not so important functions are read, attached and detach. The names are almost self-explanatory. Read gives you last value written to server object, attached written to if the server is attached to the pin, and detach remove connection between selected object and its pin. Reading PVM signal is a bit tricky, but if you follow this tutorial, you get a fast, reliable solution to this problem. We will use an event-driven interrupt system to handle the measurement of the PVM signal because it's not blocking CPU. And in addition, we use pin change interrupt library to enable interrupts on any of the Arduino pins, but it depends on your board type. Let's look to the code. The first few lines include the pin change interrupt library, define our interrupt pin and declare necessary variables. In setup function, we start serial communication, then set the interrupt pin to detect the rising edge of the signal, and when this event occurs, it calls our rising function. Its purpose is to get a detection time, reset detection to the falling edge, which causes the corresponding function to be called when this happens. In our case, it is a falling function. Falling function calculates the PVM signal value in microseconds based on the difference between calling rising and falling function. Then detection is reset again to the rising edge and PVM value is printed to serial monitor. Loop function stays blank, so it's ready for your code. And that's all. Here I have a setup with Arduino, Yeti box which acts as a PVM generator and with servo. By changing generated PVM, I speed up or slow down servo rotational speed. After this video, you should be able to combine this code together to read a PVM value, do some magic with that and then output result again as a PVM signal. If you want more details and all codes, please consider supporting this channel at Patreon. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like a video, you can click to thumb up or share or subscribe a channel. And once again, thank you for watching.